welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole Sierra. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a full face of e.l.f. makeup and also a giveaway. So kind of like a back to school makeup giveaway. E.l.f. is like the perfect brand. It's affordable and it's I will be giving away some of their products. Okay, so now time for the giveaway details. I'll leave the description of the rules down below. But I'm going to be giving away the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. Four of the bite size eyeshadow palettes. I have rose water, cream and sugar, truffles, and carnival candy. The volume plumping black mascara, a elf face sponge, and an elf lip lacquer. If I go to the store, I might add a few more things into the giveaway just because because I really liked the eyeshadow palette, the big one. So if I find it again, I might put that in. So make sure you look in the description for how to enter and let's get started. So I'm going to start off with this elf ride or die lip balm and this is in the shade or name. I hate this type of lid. This type of lid really pisses me off because it comes all the way off and I do not like that because I'll lose it. Uh-uh. I don't like that. Oh, that's cute. And juicy. Okay. So my thoughts on that product is really good. I love the way it looks on the lips. It looks like a perfect lip balm. Actually, in the shade for me, I really enjoy. But the packaging, mmm. I mean, the outside is cute. I just hate those lids, just like the Glossier Cloud Paints. Okay, sure. I did my brows, so I'm going to start off with foundation. This is the e.l.f. Satin Finish Foundation. I have the shade 210 Natural, and this has neutral undertones. And it's really cool about this foundation is that it actually says neutral undertones on the back. So if you're shopping, like, at a store versus, like, online, you know exactly what kind of undertones they claim that it is, at least. Kind of thick. And I'm using the e.l.f. sponge. What I do like about this sponge is that it's so big, so it does cover like a lot of area of your face and perimeter <laughs> um, very quickly. So I do enjoy that. I will say though that the foundation is like, it dries down pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and build it up a little bit more. I'd say it's medium to full for sure. You can like build it, so. Here we go, let's bob the build away. This is foundation. And this is actually a foundation that I've wore before, so I liked it, I'm not gonna lie. And like I said, this is the satin finish one. So if you maybe have like really oily skin, you can try out like the matte finish. I know a few friends who enjoy that one a lot too. Next for concealer, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And this one is the original version. They do have a hydrating formula and I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, I have dry skin and I tried it and like multiple times and I did not like it at all actually um yeah this is actually really full coverage and you know what I realized this is for all my small face girls I used to when I first started doing makeup I used to be like okay this is what everybody else is doing I probably should do the same thing and I'll look good too then I realized I have such a small face so like Going this far down, like, that's already my cheek area. So it doesn't make sense for me to bring my concealer all the way down when, like, in reality, I have a very small area between the bottom of my cheek and my eye. So uh, the placement of it is extremely important. When you don't have a big face, you can't draw your concealer on as if you do have a big face. Yeah, this is not my one of my favorite concealers. I forgot to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Next, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. HD Powder. I, this doesn't have a name on it, but I'm pretty sure that that is the name. I'm honestly really afraid to use this because I'm very picky with powders, so I'm actually not looking forward to using this. Okay, honestly, that, that powder was not that bad. I feel like it was actually pretty blurring. And I've used a lot of high-end powders, and this one, like, did the job, considering. I didn't like how too finely milled it was, because I could see how easily it could get messy if you aren't, like, using a sponge or using too much of it. But, I mean, honestly, I thought it would do worse. And it didn't make me look like cakey. It actually looks just really blurred. Uh, let me get closer. 
looks really good. All right, next on my list, I'm going to just finish with the face. I have the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the color Forever Sun Kiss. Double the bows, double the power, double the intimidation, and double the respect. Bronzer is really bringing the pigment and it is honestly a really nice shade. Double the lollipops, double the respect, double the intimidation, double the power. Next, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. blush. This is in the shade nothing because it has no name. Shade nothing. All right, so let's let's talk a little bit about e.l.f. I think e.l.f. has really come a long way. And I'm happy because before, I feel like it was just... I wasn't loving their dollar phase when everything was a dollar. And we really know they really came along. They have really good formulas for affordable pricing. And I feel like e.l.f. is the perfect place to start with a lot of like growing your makeup collection. I will go over it with a sponge to kind of like blend everything together every once in a while. I will say that everything that's primer infused definitely like grabs on to either the foundation or itself. Like it just is like really holds on to your face for dear life. The pigment is there and it's like it it's not a buildable thing like it's like boom you know this blush was really intense I think it looks good now I feel like I worked with it I do want to highlight these elf palettes these are like their mini eyeshadow palettes right here I think these are a must-have to put in your collection they're like three dollars and I wanted to collect them all I got kind of like three ones I feel like I would use the most three dollars and the formula is amazing especially to like travel with but I will be using the elf retro paradise palette this was $14 at Target. I was actually shocked how pretty it was in person. I'm going to take the lavender shade today and place it all over the lid. I am also now addicted to TikTok. I honestly took a while to join the whole craze, but now that I have, like, it's so funny. I feel like people all around the world are, like, literally hilarious, and I love the fact that, like, the silliest or the weirdest or, like, just, I don't even know the word, that, like, people have, like, similar humor, <laughs> and it cracks me up. Okay, so I have the purple on. I think it does have a lot of pigment. The fact that this palette is $14, like, that's a steal. It kind of low-key reminds me of BH Cosmetics. Their shadows, but better, because theirs, I feel like, had tons of fallout, especially, like, their colors. But I want to spice it up a bit. I like the matte, but I just kind of want to show you a little bit of glitter. I'm going to show you what Disco looks like over... It's not performing that well. I was about to say, where'd she go? Okay, honestly, it's not working that well over the mat, which is kind of upsetting. It, I don't feel like it should have to be built up this much. So I would say, like, if you want to do, like, a shimmer, I think you should do it on its own. Honestly, it does better when it's just, like, uh, by itself on the lid. It doesn't really work that well with the mat. Don't know why that is. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera really quick. Double the bows, double the power, double the intimidation, double the respect. Okay, I'm gonna put this. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Stick. And this one is in the shade Golden Pear. I'm gonna put it right over the lip balm. It's kind of the same color. Not sure if it goes with the look, but I don't care. I literally had to look up like, what color goes with purple? I had to ask Alexa and she was like, yellow is the opposite on the spectrum. So I put these on, which I want to talk about. So these are actually like, as you can see, little lollipop earrings. And I think they're so cute. Kathleen Lights had a pair of these on in hot pink. And when I seen her do her video, I was like, that is so cute and so like kitty and fun, which like I live for. I needed it. So I finally saw her tag them on Instagram and then I went and followed the page. It's called, I, I say Kike, K-I-K-A-Y. And I wanted, which was these, the original pair, the hot pink ones. It was so popular that they had sold out of these alone. So I was like, oh my god, look. Um, so I was like, you know, these are such a must-have. I don't know when they'll restock. I saw that they only had their bundle of every single color in sack, so I got them. So I had the pink ones, I got the yellow ones. They have them also in green, orange, blue, and then the light pink. But that's it for this full face of e.l.f. I really like it, honestly. I think the brand is definitely on the right path. I feel like a few products they could do a little bit differently. Because not 
totally my style. Like maybe like I oh, should do like a sheer and like a glowy type of line. But that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Excuse me while my sister murders flies.